<clears throat> the clown answers to the name of J.P. Patches. The man behind the makeup and the funny clothes answers to the name of Chris Wiedis. And today, Chris retired from Cairo TV 32 years after he started. Bob Branham reports. Chris Wiedis seemed flattered but a little embarrassed by all the attention at his retirement party following the Cairo New News which seems a little odd considering all the attention his alter ego has received for more than three decades. What's the idea? What's going on around here? Back before we even knew his nose was red, Chris Wiedis as J.P. Patches entertained thousands of kids and adults alike. I was on an appearance and a little girl came up to me and said, you're not J.P. Patches. And I said, oh, why not? J.P.'s black and white. J.P. eventually broadcast in living color, delighting youngsters with madcap antics like this. Yes. And even practical jokes played on our own staff, such as when he appeared during Harry Wappler's live weather forecast. We fell in love with all the wacky characters on the show, Gertrude, Swami Pastrami, The Professor, Ketchikan the Animal Man, and even this dastardly fellow. You are Boris S. Wart, the second meanest man in the world. He talked to his kids through the ICU2 TV set. He left no doubt there really was a Santa Claus. And countless cartoons came out of his cartoon hat. Now Chris is retiring. But fear not, fellow Patches pals. JP will still be making personal appearances with Gertrude and the gang. And Patches TV specials are on the way. And though JP might want to thank the station... I'd like to thank uh, everyone, the fine people at uh, Kai K uh, Kai K I R O. We'd like to thank Chris Wiedis for 32 wonderful years. Bob Branham, Cairo News. Working the floor in this place for 32 years should get you more than retirement. <laughs> you ought to get combat pay. Chris is a warm and wonderful guy. We are delighted that JP will live on. We'll miss our encounters with the man behind the makeup.